ladies and gentlemen, how are you? And today my topic is about knowing when your child needs to be read or able to read a book by research by Dr. Spaberry in 1994. Uh, her book uh, is fascinating to read because uh, it basically she taught us how, how the child uh, behave when they do the reading and how are we going to set up the strategies to help our child to read and also to investigate uh, the way the children behave when they need uh, adults to read to them okay now um in the book she also emphasized on the uh, various strategies such as uh, uh, she using uh, phoenix flashcards look and say as a draw as guides to teachers parents and parents to be okay to help the children uh, to be able to uh, read the books or even in in talking verbally, all right. Now she divided the the stages of the child into two two stages. Uh, the first stage is uh, the children were uh, learning how to talk, and the second stage is uh, learning how to read. All right. So as parents, we should know when the children are ready to, to be read or able to read. Um, also, she quoting her book and talking about her own experience uh, as a mother, and uh, when her uh, her child Scott was like two years old. Um, she heard, uh, heard him crying from her room, so she walked to her to his room uh, in the morning, like 3.30 a.m. Um, as soon as her child, um, Scott, uh, saw her mom coming in the doorway, uh, her, uh, his eyes were flashing and he, was, he knew that he's, he, his mom is going to do something to him. So he pointed to the book, he said, Mama, read books. So in the early morning, 3.30, so, uh, she sat on the bed and read the story. Uh, for Scott, right? From here, she was emphasizing that this is very important. Actually, this is a, 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 a good thing because children want parents to read to them because uh, in everyday life, um, parents read to children and they like it. They like the way you read to them. So they feel, they feel security uh, as you read to them. So they will emphasize, she emphasized that reading is very important as a family. So. Family guidance in literature plays a significant role in the upbringing of education in a child. She also emphasized that the most important thing we need uh, to focus on the quality of the books and also the, uh, the talk accompanies by following the reading of activity, which means that when you read to your child, what are the activities that you're going to um, give to your child so for, for him or her to remember what you have read for example red riding hood uh, red color so you point you give him the red color say what is this color red and as a children he will record the, the, the color and he will immediately thought about the uh, think about the story that you have read to her uh, him or her and uh, which is the story of red, red riding hood and you know this is all in big in their memory and they you know they like it yeah Try that next time if you finish reading to your child and uh, do some activities to them. See, see the um, the effects, okay, of reading. So he said regarding the environment methods facilitating children readings are number one, the availability uh, sorry availability in range of printed materials in the environment, and number two, uh, reading being done in the environment and number three an environment is facilitating uh, contact with paper and pencil and number four response by others in the environment as a response like what the child will respond when you read to them okay how they respond so adult educators are able to use different tones and facial expressions when reading a story to attract attention of the children Actually, when you read to children, the facial expression and the tone are the most important ingredients in order to help the child to remember the story and in order to help the child to, uh, to be the fact that they help them to practice the habit of liking the reading. Yeah, so they will look at you when you read to them, they will, they will see your expression, they will listen to the tones, uh, you know, to determine whether they like you to read to them or not yeah of course we like to read we, we like our children to um to like the ideas of reading because this is basically the education okay education start from from young all right the expert educators facilitate reading literacy by carefully choosing the right 
books and at an appropriate level suitable for the age of the children so the uh, the books the appropriate books and the uh, level of the books is very important uh, in uh, parallel to your the age of the children okay that you have so initially side readings of some common words such as I am cat dog pet Met, etc. need to be taught before children can handle the reading task. So easy words such as like only two letters word like M or maybe three letter, letters word like MET, M -E -T, need to be taught to the children, you know, ask, uh, let them to recognize the word, the sight words before uh, the reading task can carry out. Alright, very important. You can use a small card and writing the word, the sight words on the card and you know when you have you are free and just show it to the children and what 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 do you, what is this and just show it to children and teach them how to read the word easy word like aim mat pet which is a useful way and to lead them into the liking of reading all right all right that's it um so the consistency in educating the children is another way for successfully in bringing up the literacy in the children the children like to see the adults bringing them the routine in everyday activities uh, except uh, that they are not lost in what they should do all right so make sure you carry out the routine of reading um, like every day what time you need to read to them or you can set up a timetable say that um, uh, from Tuesday you know reading time what time to what time you know, set up a routine uh, timetable so that you know your child will know that uh, you will read to them in a particular time and they get used to it and they will like it okay daily routine in reading storybook writing playing games and other forms of activity usually bringing up successful and promote enthusiasm in children's learning all this basic uh, education as a young age like start from two years old it's a good way to um, introduce education, good education to your children in the later life. Uh, you know, it will promote your children in their learning and uh, successfully and uh, educate your children successfully start from young age. Okay. All right, let's conclude my today's uh, topic on knowing when your child needs to be read or able to read. And my next topic will be implementing uh, worship strategies part one. It's another interesting one, okay? Now, stay tuned and thank you for listening and goodbye.